started out with a rough stretch, the last two games, you guys have kind of come together. How much of this is that you guys kind of becoming familiar with each other and you know, learning each other's tendencies and things like that? Is there a process that you guys go through when you have a play with each other to kind of you guys have to do certain things? It just starts off in practice, uh, just getting after one another and competing. And you know, just repetition. You know, get going over the plays and just learning from one another on where we like to get the ball and stuff like that. And just guys, just you know, just going out there and playing. I feel like you know Wayne and Wiggs now just going out there and just playing their game, just being loose and having fun. And uh, when they play like that, you see how it ha see what happens. Nindir, what do you think of having no turnovers the first half? Did uh, the coach mention that after the game? No, we, we, we didn't know that at all, but uh, it just shows us being aggressive, you know. If we just going out there and playing instead of thinking, uh, it's going to be less of us, less chance of us making uh, turnovers and stuff like that, which we've seen, and dudes are just going to the hoop and finishing and knocking down shots. Wayne, is this the most complete game you guys have played, at least in the last month or so? Uh, I feel like the pieces are starting to come together a lot better, and we're starting to get after it um, defensively, and we're going, we're going pretty hard in practice, so I feel like we're going to keep getting better. Did your, your, your big seem to kind of crack the double team of the post that you guys struggled with the last time we saw you here. What, what was the difference this time that kind of broke that open? Uh, once again, just repetition, you know, going and practicing, you know, dudes just wanting to get the trap instead of shying away from it. You know, I was telling dudes in practice, let the trap come because it's going to be easy once we, you know, we got tall dudes, we got dudes that pass the ball really well. And it was shown today, you know, Tarek made a good pass to Jamari. Uh, Jojo as well, he's a seven footer, he can see over the defense. So, you know, I was just trying to tell them in practice, just try to absorb the trap, and then once we once we get out of the trap, you know, we got we got players that can make plays. Wayne, well, you know, Nadir said you, you and uh, Andrew are playing loose and, and having fun. What enabled that to happen? Um, I felt like just time, over time, we were getting better with it, um, getting more comfortable with everybody, everybody's getting more comfortable together, and we're just coming together. And it's starting on the defensive end, and we're going to be able to get out and run. Wayne did what you did at Oklahoma carry over into today a little bit? Um, I felt like that gave me a little more confidence to come out and um, shoot the ball a little more. And we're just feeding off each other. That's a big thing. Andrew, was that stretch in the second half the best you played offensively? And again, 13 straight points. Uh, I would say so. I just let the game come to me. I was calm. Uh, I was playing with confidence. And my teammates were there uh, uh, throughout the whole game. <coughs> Nadir, there's a quick turnaround, uh, big Monday game at Iowa State, and uh, how long do you celebrate this success before you start thinking about the Cyclones? Uh, celebration's over, because you know, we got tomorrow, we got practice, and then we leave the same day, so we got, we, everybody knows we got to just, this game's already in the past, and you know, good thing we came out here and played like we did, but we got to go out to Iowa State and do the same thing, but turn up another notch, because them dudes out there has really been balling pretty good. What do you remember about last year's game up there? My man Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, you said you were you felt calm. Did, did that mean you were more calm than you've been? Can you just explain that a little? Uh, yeah, I think I was more calm than I was last game and games before that. I'm just really letting the game come to me now. And I got my teammates all by my side, you know, calm me down through the whole way, uh, making plays, giving me easy shots. Any other reason you were able to be more calm? I mean, have you been thinking about it more? Just uh, I, th I think I'm just having fun, you know, like Coach mentioned today in the locker room. We got eight more games left to play in the Allen Fieldhouse, so I'm just trying to enjoy every one of them. Andrew, was it fun to guard Marcus Foster? Uh, yeah, it was fun because uh, it was, he's the second leading scorer in the in the Big 12. So, and people say he's one of the best freshmen, so it's always good to match up and see where you stand, you know. Kind of a point of pride then, I guess, holding them to one field goal against you anyway? Yeah. You think he struggled against your length? And when you weren't in Wayne guarding him as well, do you think your size and length bothered him? Um, I think throwing different people at him, playing him different ways really um, got to him a little bit. Andrew, do you feel like you've, have you always been kind of a streaky shooter when the ball goes in the basket and kind of goes in a lot? Or how, how do you see that? Uh, I've always been a streaky shooter, but I'm just working on trying to uh, continuously have uh, a good shot, you know. So it's all repetition is getting in the gym and just shooting. Um, have you done anything with your shot this year with the coaches or anything mechanical or changing anything? I haven't changed anything. You know, like my, my father told me when I was young, my, my shot will naturally change as I get older. I think that's what it's doing.
Nadir, are you surprised when <coughs> Embiid hits a three? No, nah, not surprised at all. Uh, for a big fella like that, he got a pretty nice touch. And, you know, coach tells him in practice, uh, you know, if you open and shoot the ball, and he needs to shoot the ball because, like I said, he has a nice touch and he got a good feel for the game, especially at the top of the key. It's the easiest shot in the game, so he's able to knock that down. Wayne, did coach or anybody else tell you to uh, look for your shot a little bit more? Have you decided upon yourself to be more aggressive the last couple of games? Um, my teammates and coaches have been encouraging me to shoot the ball more and just get, get in the gym and get an extra shot, so it's been helping. The, uh, the last couple of years you've been through this game playing K-State here, it seems like you guys always find a way to play so well and the game's rarely close. How do you explain kind of the way you guys have played against K-State in this building? Uh, just, you know, watching the teams that played here before against them, uh, you know, it means a lot, not just to us, but to everybody at Lawrence and, you know, the whole the whole staff and everybody. Like, you know, it's, it's, this is one of them games where you just come in and you want to give everything you got because you know how important it is not just for us on the Kansas, but for everybody, you know. So we want to go out there and make sure we play as best as we can. How about for you guys, Wayne and Andrew? I mean, not from around here, first time experience in this. Was, was part of today of the fun you guys had, was that partly the rivalry or, or just the focus? Yeah, I would say so, because it's, it's tradition. What we got, well, what, 186 to 91 now. So just extend the lead, you know, to show that we're the most, most, the most dominant team in Kansas. Uh, nice pull. How about you, Wayne? <laughs> Can you follow that? Um, we've been watching videos all week on the rivalry, and it really got real personal for us just watching it and seeing all the past teams compete. And we knew we had to come out and play Kansas basketball. Andrew, do you think your um, brother would disagree with you that you're the most dominant team in Kansas? <laughs> yeah, but that's just all part of competition. You know, they're competitors, so they're going to think their team's the best. We're going to think our team's the best. Kansas State probably still thinks their team uh, still the best, so it's all competition. Wayne, uh, can you tell the level of intensity these last two conference games is greater, bigger than you had in the past? Easily. Um, I feel like we're all turned up even more and I feel like as the games go on we're going to keep um, turning up another notch and keep going and getting the loose balls and getting the rebounds and getting the 50-50 balls. Dear, on uh, Monday night do you expect a hostile crowd after last year? <laughs> I hope not as hostile as last year. <laughs> Look, got a little bit too out of control but you know, going out there and playing and competing is, is gonna be fun. You know, it's just gonna be it's gonna be us against us against them and the fans. So, you know, we gotta make sure we have a tight huddle, but it's gonna be a fun game. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thanks, folks.